Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a 7 Days to Die dedicated server. First thing you need to do is you need to head over to your library in your Steam application. Click on the tab here. Hit up Tools. Alright, so you're going to want to install this application here. Alright, once the install is finished, you're going to head over to the dedicated server, right click, hit properties. Once you hit properties, you'll get a window that will pop up just like that. You're going to want to go to local files, browse local files. And once you do that, once you do that, you're going to come to this window right here and right click open with notepad plus plus once you open it up you'll see this page here in notepad plus plus so this will be some of the information you have on your server um, your name that, that's what's going to populate on the server browser list um, description, things like that. You can set a password here. Also, set up a few other settings on here. If you want to just have a dedicated server of a Navisgeen map, then you could just leave it as is and run the .bat file. If you want to configure a random gen, you just type remove this here and type in rwg and make your configurations here as you see. Um, if you have a server that you're already using, um, a local server, then you can input that name here and it will pick up that server and create it as a dedicated server. Just make sure you have all the information matching your server information. Um, so you're just going to go down the list here and make sure you have everything set the way you want it. Um, you know, blood moon frequency, range, zombie movement, uh, things like that. Key thing to keep in mind is this uh, number right here because you're going to want to do some port forwarding on your router later on after you're done here making all your setting changes and all that. One thing I do want to point out that you should make a copy or move this folder to a different uh, location so that way Steam doesn't update it. So move it wherever you want. I mean, doesn't matter to me if you want to make a folder somewhere here games just just cut and paste it here That'll save you some headache later on, so that way your stuff doesn't get uh, overwritten by Steam. Once you're done, save. Once you're done saving your files over, um, I would create a shortcut for this on your desktop. This is the start dedicated .bat. All right. Once you're done setting up your dedicated server, you're going to want to go to your router and access your firewall. Go to your port forwarding tab, find your IP for your local computer where you're going to be hosting the dedicated server. To do that, uh, type in CMD, IP config, and then locate your PC. Um, I have mine here, close it down, and then you select custom ports. And this is for specifically for Verizon router. Um, it should basically be, be the same for others, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then you just type in 
the information from the dedicated server that we made a note of. Hit add. I'm not going to do that because I already have it set here. And that's basically it. Start up the application that you put on your desktop, the dedicated server.bat file. Um, it will generate the world however you created it, whether from a local file or fresh. So here for this one, I didn't touch the dedicated server file, I just kept it as is. And I'm generating a Navisgeen world. It'll take some time once it's done. Uh, your server will be up and running. After it's loaded, we'll go and I'll show you the file on the game itself. So just give it some time. At the end of this, you'll see that it it took however long here. Um, and then it's ready to go. All right, as you can see, we're on the startup page for the game. Join the game, and you'll see here my game host. I didn't put any information. Um, it's just the game itself. So I'm going to try to connect. And it'll start to load. It might take some time because it's going to generate the files as well for the actual uh, computer itself, uh, whoever's going to be using it. So just let it run through the process, and then once it's done, you'll be good to go. So. All right, so it started up, and we're here. Okay, and this is the game we're currently running on a dedicated server, Navisgeen. Would also like to point out that once you are done playing and you want to shut down the server, just click down here and type in shut down. That will shut it down properly without having any errors afterwards.